This series of videos demonstrates the step-by-step -step exercises which are included in each Parabuild installation, including the free trial version. In this exercise, we'll draw columns which are set on the reference grid. Open the context modeler and select the top and bottom levels. Choose eaves for the top and make sure the bottom is set on the WCS. Then click on the draw framing button and select the profile type and size from the options list. The column is then shown attached to the mouse cursor and by moving the cursor slightly along the X and Y axes of the grid lines Parabool will align the column parallel to that line with the options of placing the corner, edge or center of the section on the grid line. The buttons in the context modeler can be used to limit these options. For example, we can specify the rotation of the column by activating one of the two draw parallel buttons. Here we'll select this button to maintain the column parallel to the Y axis. And once you click to accept, the column will be created. This operation can then be repeated to place as many columns as you wish. And when you're done, press enter to end the command. We'll now simultaneously draw multiple columns. Change the plan view for easier selection and activate the multiple columns tool in the context modeler. Using a right to left frame, select the horizontal grid lines where you want to place the columns. Then you can individually select any additional vertical grid lines to place columns and press enter. To place columns on the horizontal grid lines, repeat this exercise using a right to left frame and select the vertical grid lines. Then individually select any additional horizontal grid lines to place columns and again press enter. You'll see that the columns were drawn on all intersections of the selected grid lines and Parabuild will skip intersections if there's already a column there. At this point, all the columns are orientated in the same direction. This you can change by selecting the columns to be rotated and adjusting their properties. From the Properties dialog, select Member and change the rotation angle of the column. You'll see the new rotation angle will be immediately reflected. Finally, switch back to the 3D view so we can select any columns that were unnecessarily drawn then press the delete key to remove them. There are other exercises with step-by-step -step instruction with each Parabuild installation. And if you'd like to try these yourself, there's a free Parabuild trial available on our website.